right multiplication of two linear terms so for that this must be the condition and if you simplify this this condition can be expressed as abc abc uh, f f g g h h right so this should be equal to zero we can simplify this and express it like this so this this is the condition for degree 2 equation to represent pair of lines now <coughs> apart from that like see uh, uh, once we have the pair of lines what is the condition that this pair of lines will represent say parallel lines now for lines to be parallel now see uh, suppose the perfect square form of this we you, i just we discussed it should be a perfect square form so that we, it can be a pair of lines now this perfect square form this this perfect square form we can just get it of this part suppose we express this uh, perfect square form as root of h square minus ab into y you know plus some some constant will be there whole square right suppose we are able to express it like this root of s square minus ab into y plus some constant can be there now when we replace this d here right so equation will become x equal to uh, minus hy plus g equal to plus minus uh, s square minus ab to the power Half y plus k. Now see this equation. This is like the equation of two lines, equation of pair of lines, because we are able to factorize in terms of linear factors. Should be should represent a pair of parallel lines when the slopes are same, right? Slope would be same when we don't have this plus minus in front of this, right? So basically, we should not have a y term here. Then only uh, we can have uh, uh, you can say. pair of parallel lines so basically condition is that h square should be equal to ab this should be equal to zero there should be no y term from the side because if there is a y term and we combine coefficient of x coefficient of minus coefficient of x is basically minus 1 if you bring on the side the other coefficient of y will come is minus h and plus minus the root of h square minus ab this is the uh, these are two slopes of two lines for this to to be a unique slope only one slope this the 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 This term should be zero, so that plus minus should not give two cases. So s equal to a b is a condition that this represents the equation of parallel lines. Now, what about the coincident lines? When this will represent uh, uh, coincident lines? Now, coincident lines it will represent when you can see uh, this factor. This this plus minus should not give you two lines when this whole part is zero. This whole part zero means. this should be zero for all values of y this whole part should be zero then only we'll have the uh, one factor or same factor of the uh, degree 2 expression so this whole should be zero means this expression should be zero for all values of y and this should be zero for all values this should be y square this should be zero for all values of y means that there should be an identity in terms of y means all the three coefficient must be zero so condition for degree 2 equation to represent coincident line is h square minus ab equal to zero g square equal to ac and hd minus af equal to 0 for degree 2 equation general degree 2 to degree 2 equation to represent pair of uh, uh, coincident lines condition is this right now pair of uh, real lines image when when will be the case when we will have imaginary lines imaginary lines the case will come when this condition this is negative this condition is negative this is this is discriminant and if we have a negative quantity inside that discriminant then this is will bring this will generate non real roots so this equation will represent equation of imaginary lines when this expression is negative when this expression is negative when h square minus ab coefficient of degree 2 expression less than 0 you know you have done parabola so if h square uh, minus ab is less than 0 this parabola opens in downward direction and if d less than 0 the graph would be like this Uh, 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 d equal to zero. You can say line will it it will be sorry even it will be line when d equal to zero. D to d d is already zero. So we can have either this case or this case based on the sine of s uh, uh, sine of s square minus ab. If s square minus ab is greater than zero, coefficient of y square is positive, then parabola touches x axis like this. 
the right? discriminant of this is already zero, so it will touch. And this is the case when this expression is completely negative, means this expression will have non-real roots. So h square minus ab is the case when we have imaginary roots, and h square minus ab less than zero is imaginary roots, imaginary lines, and this is real lines. Right. So to summarize this, we have this when h square minus. Uh, first of all, for this to represent a pair of lines, this condition must be true. A B C G G F F H H. This should be zero for pair of lines, right? And once it is pair of lines, if h square minus a b greater than zero, real lines. h square minus a b less than zero, imaginary lines. Real lines and intersecting. Because parallel line case will come when h square minus a b equal to zero. So if I combine the real cases, h square minus a b greater than equal to zero. This is a, a, a real case, right? And 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 if we have it's exclusively greater than zero, then real and intersecting, right? And uh, par uh, parallel lines. Or rather, I should like write like this: real lines, imaginary lines, h square minus a b greater than zero. Uh, intersecting lines, real and intersecting. H square minus AB equal to zero, real and parallel. And finally, one case, one more case is there, coincident lines. H square minus AB equal to zero, right? G square equal to AC, and HD minus AF equal to zero. Coincident lines. Now, uh, see uh, for for parabola, hyperbola, and ellipse, we can see that. Suppose if I represent this expression as delta, this condition is delta. So delta equal to zero pair of lines. Just now we have seen seen this. Delta not equal to zero, right? Will generate three cases. Either it is parabola, it is ellipse, or it is hyperbola. And how we differentiate in these three cases when delta is not equal to zero? Parabola is h square equal to ab. Now don't mix this condition with condition of pair of lines, because this will come to this case only when delta is not equal to zero. So don't say h square equal to ab is here and h square equal to ab is here. So line should be parallel lines. This is when delta not equal to zero. Ellipse when h square less than ab, and hyperbola when h square is greater than ab. Right. So if we have to uh, check degree two equation represents a parabola or ellipse or hyperbola or a pair of lines, we find this delta as the first thing. You find this determinant. The value de determinant is the first thing, and if it is zero, then it's a pair of lines, and we can decide which kind, what kind of pair of lines is there. And if it is not equal to zero, then based on the uh, 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 based on the relationship between h square and ab, whether they are equal, whether h square minus ab is negative or positive, we decide hyperbola, ellipse, or parabola based on these conditions.